In this video we will pay tribute the members from the Booker T and the MGs band who have passed away. Booker T and the MGs, formed in Memphis, Tennessee, in 1962, quickly became one of the most influential instrumental groups of their time. Their unique blend of soul, R&B, and funk captivated audiences and set the stage for their lasting legacy. At the heart of the band was the talented Booker T, Jones alongside Steve Cropper, L. Jackson Jr., and Louis Steinberg. Over the years, the band experienced some lineup changes, with notable members like Donald Duck Dunn, Willie Hall, and others joining their ranks. Booker T and the MGs achieved widespread recognition with their breakthrough hit, Green Onions, released in 1962. This instrumental track not only showcased their incredible musicianship but also became a timeless classic that continues to be celebrated to this day. Let's get into it, give us a like and comment below. Al Jackson Jr. He was a renowned drummer of Booker T and the MGs. He was born on November 27, 1935, in Memphis, Tennessee. Al Jackson Jr. possessed a natural aptitude for rhythm and a remarkable sense of timing. His drumming style became the backbone of the band's sound, elevating their music to new heights. Al Jackson Jr.'s drumming was characterized by its precision, impeccable groove, and inventive fills. His ability to create infectious rhythms and maintain a steady pocket earned him respect and admiration from musicians and fans alike. As a member of Booker T and the MGs, Al Jackson Jr. contributed to numerous hit records that defined the soul and R&B genre. Songs like Green Onions, Hip Hug Her, and Soul Limbo showcased his dynamic and soulful drumming. Al Jackson Jr.'s collaboration with the band extended beyond the studio. Together, they formed a tight-knit rhythm section that was revered for its cohesion and telepathic musical communication. Their synergy was the driving force behind the band's success. Beyond his work with Booker T and the MGs, Al Jackson Jr. was a highly sought-after session drummer. His exceptional skills graced recordings by artists such as Otis Redding, Wilson Pickett, and Sam and Dave, leaving an indelible imprint on some of the most iconic soul recordings of all time. Tragically, on October 1, 1975, Al Jackson Jr.'s life was cut short when he was taken from us. His untimely passing was a tremendous loss to the music world, and his contributions continue to be deeply missed. However, Al Jackson Jr.'s legacy lives on through his influential drumming and timeless recordings. Louis Steinberg Let's pay tribute to Louis Steinberg, the original bassist of the renowned band Booker T and the MGs. Louis Steinberg's musical journey began when he was born on September 13, 1933, in Memphis, Tennessee. As a bassist, he played a pivotal role in shaping the early sound and success of the band. Steinberg's bass playing was characterized by its solid foundation and driving rhythm. His ability to hold down the groove and lock in with the band's rhythm section laid the groundwork for the infectious sound that would define Booker T and the MGs. As one of the founding members of the band, Louis Steinberg's contributions were instrumental in their early recordings and live performances. Songs like Green Onions showcased his ability to create a tight and compelling bass line. Although Steinberg's time with Booker T and the MGs was relatively brief, his impact on the band's early success was significant. His bass playing helped establish the band's reputation as one of the premier soul and R&B groups of the era. While Steinberg's time with Booker T and the MGs may have been relatively short-lived, his contributions left an indelible mark on the band's legacy and the world of soul music. He died on July 21, 2016 at the age of 82. Donald Duck Dunn In this segment, we pay tribute to the exceptional talent and legacy of Donald Duck Dunn, the legendary bassist of Booker T and the MGs. Born on November 24, 1941, in Memphis, Tennessee, Donald Dunn, affectionately known as Duck, was an extraordinary musician whose bass playing formed the foundation of the band's iconic sound. Duck Dunn's bass lines were characterized by their deep, rich tone and impeccable groove. His ability to lock in with drummer L. Jackson Jr. created a rhythm section that was the backbone of countless hit records. As a member of Booker T and the MGs, Duck Dunn contributed to numerous classic recordings, including Green Onions, Time Is Tight, and Soul Limbo. His melodic and dynamic bass playing added a soulful dimension to the band's sound. Duck Dunn's musical collaborations extended beyond the band, as he played with some of the greatest names in soul and R&B, including Otis Redding, Sam and Dave, and Wilson Pickett. His versatile bass playing and impeccable sense of timing made him one of the most sought-after session bassists of his time. 
Duck Dunn's contributions to the music industry were not limited to his bass playing. He also showcased his talent as a songwriter and producer, further solidifying his status as a multifaceted musician. On May 13, 2012, the music world mourned the loss of Donald Duck Dunn. His untimely passing was a tremendous loss, as his talent, charisma, and musicality touched the hearts of millions of fans worldwide. However, Duck Dunn's legacy lives on through his unforgettable bass lines, his recordings, and the countless musicians he inspired. His impact on the bass community and the broader music industry will forever be remembered. Carson Whitsett In this segment, we celebrate the musical journey and talent of Carson Whitsett, a highly regarded keyboardist and songwriter who made significant contributions to the world of music. Carson Whitsett was born on January 10, 1945, in Jackson, Mississippi. He developed a deep passion for music at an early age and honed his skills as a keyboardist, mastering the piano and organ. Whitsett's career took off when he joined the renowned band Booker T. and the MGs as a session musician in the late 1970s. His exceptional skills on the keyboards brought a fresh and vibrant sound to the band's recordings. During his tenure with Booker T. and the MGs, Carson Whitsett's dynamic keyboard playing and melodic contributions helped create a unique sonic tapestry for the band. His ability to blend soul, funk, and blues elements added depth and richness to their music. His knack for crafting compelling melodies and lyrics further showcased his artistic prowess. Sadly, on May 8, 2007, the music world lost Carson Whitsett, leaving behind a legacy of incredible music and unforgettable contributions to the industry. His exceptional talent, creativity, and dedication continue to inspire musicians and fans alike. Here are the members of Booker T. and the MGs who are still alive. Booker T. Jones Born on November 12, 1944, Booker T. Jones, the band's namesake and leader, is still alive. He continues to perform, record, and tour, showcasing his exceptional talent on the keyboards and as a songwriter. Steve Cropper Born on October 21, 1941, Steve Cropper, the guitarist for Booker T. and the MGs, is still alive. He remains an active musician, renowned for his influential guitar playing and songwriting contributions. Eddie Floyd Born on June 25, 1937, Eddie Floyd, who joined Booker T. and the MGs as a vocalist, is still alive. He had a successful solo career and continues to perform, known for his soulful singing and captivating stage presence. Willie Hall Born on August 8, 1950, Willie Hall, the drummer for Booker T. and the MGs, is still alive. He played a significant role in the band's later years and has continued his musical journey with various projects. Who was your favorite member from Booker T. and the MGs band? Like, comment and subscribe, see you on the next video.